G'day folks, just thought I'd give you a little update on the uh, extruder. I've um, done my bit of machining and everything, I did it on Friday and I forgot to bring the camera, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, the boss even asked me why I wasn't doing video of it, so I'm like, yeah, I forgot. Because <laughs> I've um, put a bronze sleeve in here and built, built up and reground the drive yoke that's on the front of the gearbox. So that's now a proper flat coupling, not cammed out and making the screw turn like a crankshaft. That's why it ate itself out so bad. Made new high temp heater cables instead of the uh, PVC stuff that tends to burn out. So that's all going to be trouble free for them when they get it up north. Tidied up everything as much as possible. You don't really need to tidy these up much. They're the thermocouple sensors. Just a K-type thermocouple for head and the zones. Everything's tightened up now. That's not flapping around. I'm just going to make sure the cabinet itself bolted down properly. Those ones are missing. Internally it's pretty good. I've tied the power supply and everything down. Uh, there's a better look at it. <laughs> a friend of mine's a, a regional manager for Weidmuller and uh, he had a look at this thing and was quite surprised. <laughs> Given the amount of beautiful panels that uh, Weidmuller make in-house, uh, this thing is, uh, yeah, this is my, something you don't see very often. It's very old and largely been replaced in many many plants and industries they replace them but still many keep using them i think that's our neutral bar down there those little wires just sort of soldered on top of some of the lugs that's an earth and there'll be three different phases probably coming out of this main switch and they all just split off to different places it's all point to point there's no common bus bar so there's all these other i think they're neutrals coming off or no they're, they're positive so you've got power in and um, neutral and then you've got relay switching and then uh, thermocouple on these controllers so yeah it's uh, it's interesting it still works though and the speed controller all painted so it's all had a coat of paint I just got to paint the belt guard uh, yeah I'll give it a sand back with a wire wheel and uh, same with the, the guard for the, v, the not VFD but VSD. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll plug the power in, let it warm up, and then uh, I'll show you how to run one. Uh, minus the start up of using a die. Eventually, I'll do a full video on how to start and run an extruder properly, like with a die, with the cooling tank, and everything. We'll actually make we'll make some product on film. So uh, that can be another another week or something like that. I uh, didn't check these, but they're pretty good. I'm just going to stretch wrap the whole cabinet and leave it at that. Tie it all together with stretch wrap. So yeah, it's cleaned up quite nice. Okay, we have some power. Now, see if I remember how to do this. Make sure in manual. Uh, the drive's off anyway, but I bring it down to zero. Um, uh, main contactor needs to be on, so we'll leave the motor off. Uh, that's motor off. That's heating on. There we go. So that's main motor, that's heating. <laughs> and they are heating. Should really do that bearing. <laughs> yeah, so these will take a while to come up. Which is already getting nice and hot. I'll give it 15 20 minutes, and uh, if it's starting to melt, well, that's good. Okay, we're good to go. Been a little longer than I was expecting, but uh, this is. Uh, polypropylene it's quite forgiving you can leave it for a while without it uh, burning or leaving you with a locked up screw some materials you can't leave in the barrel too long at all or they just start going hard like PVC uh, this stuff's really forgiving so do mains on we're on manual heats on turn the motor on uh, turn the drive on now the drive has power 
bring up the drive gradually. That's pretty slow. There's a granule of plastic stuck inside the housing of the motor. That's what that noise is. There's, when I was cleaning it, they all went everywhere and yeah, some of them are down inside that coupling. It won't kill it. It'll wear itself out eventually. And that's it. That's called purging process. It's coming out. 240 degrees. It's not liquid. It's hot, but it's not liquid. I think that's about as fast as we run it. Uh, it's going real fast. <laughs> so that's that. That's how you start up for purging. To shut it down, you can simply turn the motor off, turn the drive off. Ah, oh, that's what it is. It's that cover. I thought it was either plastic granules in here or the something, but it's the back of this sheet metal cover hitting the pulley. Let's try that again. Sounds better. That's better. Yeah, it was this. That's how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> I thought it was because I disturbed some plastic granules when I was cleaning it, but no, it's the cover. And that's just natural. Now, probably about 45 degrees Celsius. And then you add whatever colour master batch you want to it to give it that colour. Red, blue, green, purple, yellow, anything. Metallic. Oh, yeah, see there's this raw material that we're starting with, no master batch in it. And that just gets fed down through the throat, down the flights of the screw, which I've shown you before, they get tighter as they go along, and gets pushed out the end as molten product, with no air bubbles or anything in it. The air gets displaced back up through the throat as it, as it moves down. Yeah. Basic positive displacement screw type pump, essentially. Nowadays you could do away with that and use a single phase, well, this is a one and a half horse motor, so I could actually run this at home if I took this motor, a VFD, and coupled it straight to that, rather than using the eddy current drive. Just get rid of all that, get rid of the old drive, um, and just hook the rest of the other heaters and things up on another outlet. I could pretty much do it at home. But this the support equipment and the output line is so big, I wouldn't have room to set it up at home. Because there's a few very small, similar size units going up for auction soon, so if they don't sell and the option comes to scrap them, I might grab one anyway, but really, what am I going to do with it and where am I going to put it?
there you have it folks. <laughs> Simple, effective, been around for many, many, many years. Plastics extrusion. Thanks for watching.